Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Now, if you watched the last video, it has been the next day where I was supposed to get all the parts. Guess what? No parts showed up. Hopefully they are going to be here today. That's why I'm actually starting to film this and we're gonna redo the front end and hopefully get it into the alignment shop. If we don't get it into the alignment shop after I do it today, if we get the parts, then I'll bring it in tomorrow. Maybe film a little bit of that. We'll just see what happens. But I just want to get this video kicked off. Hopefully y'all can see me. It's really bad lighting because of this humongous tree. But yeah, I will be with y'all whenever we get the parts. Two hours later. Okay guys, so I'm tired of waiting for the parts to get here. So right now, I'm actually going to go ahead and start taking everything apart. Hopefully it won't be too hard. What I'm basically seeing is, of course, we got to take this guy off and then take it off on the other side. And then literally I can just leave it together and then just take it off right here. So hopefully it's not too hard. Oh, and then um, disconnect this guy right here. And by the way, I actually got a new steering stabilizer, but it's a dual steering stabilizer from Rough Country. It's like the only place that sells them. So hopefully that'll help with the steering as well. Like I'm going going big. It's basically go big or go home at this point. That's what I'm doing. I'm going big. Hopefully this will fix everything steering wise and let's get to taking this thing apart. All right, guys. So we just finished the first little part. I kind of was going too fast and I actually took the little key out of there. By key, I mean these guys right here. So I took in all the ones we need out, which for me is only going to be that one and the one on the pitman arm here. And then I'm literally just gonna leave this in because that's brand new. And then, you know, all I need is the sleeves on both sides and then everything else will be coming out. So I'm gonna start taking it down now. And then if I run into any, you know, difficulties, I'll tell y'all if I did. But other than that, I'll be back with y'all when I start taking this down. Okay guys, so I pretty much got the entire steering linkage out. As you can see, it's on the ground right here. And this is what it looks like up under there right now. Looks super plain. So like I said, I left this guy in there and I left the sleeve because we're gonna reuse the sleeve, which is fine. I mean, it's not like they're they're bad. And then here's another one of the brand new tie rod ends that I'm just setting in there for now. I don't really have it tightened down or anything. Got it all greased up and I'm leaving this all together, which is what y'all can do. So what I did was, of course, um, in my instance, I already have a brand new one on here, but literally what I did was I took the castle nut off of this, hit it out, and then I hit the one out at the pitman arm and then it literally just came tumbling down. Now that did cause the tie rod in to kind of and get all loose, but I mean, eventually they loosen up anyway, so I think it's gonna be fine. Um, so like if you were doing it and you were taking the whole thing out, it's very, very simple. Um, now the only thing I gotta worry about is just when I put it together, getting it aligned enough just to be able to drive straight to the alignment shop and get it done from there. But other than that, it is looking good so far. Um, I'm gonna end up using the sleeve on this one as well, but I'm gonna wait to do the rest of it until we get the parts. Cause at this point, I think this is a good stopping point until I get the other parts, just because like, if I start taking stuff apart here, I won't be able to align it as good if, whatever y'all y'all probably understand what i'm saying but yeah super easy so far and now i gotta find another cotter key to put in the one i mentioned earlier i accidentally took it out so i'm pretty sure we have extra ones i gotta find one for that but so far so good and i don't have it on jack stands or anything it's literally just sitting on its own way the only thing that happened is the wheels kind of came in like this but there's so much stuff actually holding it up it should be fine Four days I have been waiting for the final tie rod to get here. It's finally freaking here, boys. That means it is time to get the steering together. Now, as you can tell, I'm a little excited here. Um, we're working with the rain today. Um, I wish I could pull my truck up so I wouldn't really get water on me, but I am... I, I don't have steering. So that's not gonna work, but we're still gonna send it. I can't wait any longer. About to get this together. Hopefully it goes nice and easy. I kind of have an idea in my head on how I'm going to do it. So let's get to putting it together. All right, guys, so this is what we're going to do. So hopefully this works out good. I don't know if you can tell or not, but the sleeve is already on that tie rod end. I'm gonna take it off this little tie rod linkage, put the other one on that side. Then we have all these individual parts. What I'm gonna do is just twist it in there. Um, that one is already good on knowing where the, uh, I guess, alignment is. But I took a little picture here saying how many little threads I'm gonna have to adjust it to. So let's get to it. Got it off, let's put it on. All 
All right, it's starting to get the new parts on, baby. Uh, come here. Yes. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see, but I got one on, not for the other. Okay, guys, camera for some reason just shut off out of nowhere, but I am literally so close to being done. I have to just basically tighten everything down now. I have to just hit this one little tie rod in with the hammer, take five seconds, put the little crown nut on it, slip the cutter key through it, and we should be good to go. So I'll be back with y'all explaining what I did in a second. All right, guys, we are done just like that. Now let me show y'all how it looks. I guess he thinks he's uh, faster or something. All right, boys, hopefully y'all can see. I'm gonna try to get to where y'all can see. Brand new tie rod in. We had to reuse the sleeve because it didn't come with new sleeves, which is fine, because they're perfectly fine. Brand new tie rod, brand new tie rod, and boom. Now, it was super, super simple to do. Taking it off, you can take it off pretty much however you want. Take it off how I told you in the beginning of this video or not, it's up to you. Now, putting it back together, what I did was I put the tie rod and a sleeve on both sides, this side and this side. And then I got both of the new tie rods and just twisted them in. And like I showed you on that picture earlier, I counted the little threads so I would know how much to twist it in. Once I twisted it in, I just put both of the nuts back in the sleeve, tighten it down so it wouldn't twist around while I'm trying to put it in like the new hole at the pitman arm or whatever. And same with this one coming into here. Now, my alignment was already jacked up, so I'm not expecting it to be perfect by any means. Like I said, I lined it up exactly how it was before. And driving it like that is just good enough to get me to the alignment shop. So hopefully whenever we bring it there, they can get it in spec because they've had trouble with it before. And I'm thinking maybe it took the spacers off, got whole new tie rod linkages. Maybe it'll be better. I guess we will have to see. And now I am just waiting on my new dual steering stabilizer. It is actually supposed to be here today. So rough country, good job on the shipping time. I ordered it like two days ago. And it's going to be here the same day I ordered something from AutoZone like two weeks ago. So props to them. Yeah, here's one last look at it. Sorry for the really bad lighting. But there we go. Looks pretty dang good. And then the old one, this is how shot this thing was. You see this? Look at this. Look at the meow. Look at the meow. Look at the amount of wobble in that. Pretty bad. And they're all just freaking busted open. All of them. I mean, it, it, it's pretty bad. So hopefully all this does something, like just the bare minimum is fine with me. If it fixes a little bit, I'm good with it. Hoping with this dual steering stabilizer, it'll do a little bit more. Hopefully do more than the single, cause the single, honestly, I can't even tell you if it was actually doing anything or not. But now all I gotta do is just grease all the ball joints and then we will be done with that. All right, so first little drive, I'm just gonna drive it straight back, straight up, maybe turn the wheel a few times. Hopefully it don't fall apart. My dad's video real quick. See what happens. <laughs> this is the old stuff. Original uh, links, except for the dampener. Looks stiff to me. Felt felt a little better. I mean, I'm not sure. I didn't really drive it anywhere, but yeah. Oh yeah, that sucker is definitely towed in like this. All right. Well, it didn't fall apart, so that's a plus. All right, boys. So I think that is 
actually gonna go ahead and wrap up the video. I'm so excited we finally got this in. Now I am just waiting for that dual steering stabilizer. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it on before I get it aligned or after. I'll probably look it up, do a little bit of research, see what's best. But other than that, guys, I'm not too sure how long this video is. And I think I wanna make a separate video when I'm putting the stabilizer on and driving it and everything because then that'll be the point where we can start driving it until, you know, the engine's just completely done and we gotta do something about it. But other than that, guys, thank y'all so much for the view. It really means a lot. And make sure to drop a like. Let's get this video to 50 likes help your boy out but other than that guys hopefully you did enjoy make sure to drop a like if you haven't already make sure to stay tuned for the next video because it'll be a lot more in depth on how much this stuff actually did but like i said hopefully you enjoyed make sure to drop a like if you haven't already subscribe if you are new and i will see y'all in the next one peace out